All right, YouTube, today we're going to play some more Grixis Shadow, but we're going to play a little different, a little different build. This is kind of what was seeing play before the Humans deck became really prevalent. We're just going to give this another world today, because I think the metagame is actually moving back towards where this deck's got to be good against fair decks, and has to be ready to play more of a long game. If I had another Colorgon's Command, a Tasker, and two Terminates, cutting the Dismember, um, cutting some of the, the Dismembers, and the Battle Rages. So we're going to try... I think that the way that I've been playing Battle Rage recently, it's actually created like bad play patterns for the metagame right now. So we're going to give it a try without Battle Rages and see how that goes. we got two Spell Bombs to kind of switch up to give us some more good hate against like the Mardu deck. Um, and then the same kind of grindy and counterspell elements that we have had. So let's jump in here. Grace Shadow, 12 tickets. And let's give it a whirl. I'm going to uh, play some Death Shadow in the PTQ this weekend on Moto. So I'll either play this deck or something very close to it. I want a version of this deck that is very good in the grindy matchups. So we're going to try that out. Like, I definitely think that I probably want this card. There's less Tarmor Voice running around, like the f one power. There's less Tarmor Voice and less. Um, Reality Smashers right now, so I don't think we necessarily need this. Where this is very good against is like the Jess guys of the world that are kind of everywhere. And I want to beat up. I want to beat up on mid-range decks, and then have my sideboard be able to handle like creature decks. I think, like be able to fight, be able to target control decks and combo de or control decks and mid-range decks in game one. And then handle the creature decks after sideboard while just having enough against the combo decks, anyways. So that is that is what I'm thinking is gonna happen. I won't be streaming tomorrow as my little brother's graduating college, and we're going to go see that. So. All right, it's a very good hand. It's got removal, a threat, a counter spell. This hand's like perfect. So we're playing against John or the mirror. Playing the mirror, nice. I played against this guy earlier, I think. I would assume that he will take my discard spell, or a terminate if he has a delve card. I do enjoy the shadow mirrors. It's a really good draw. So let's go get. This is definitely gonna get a watery grave. Might as well start working up my graveyard. Oh, he took my Inquisition. I thought he took my Death Shadow. All right, zoned out there. I was I was working with the stream here. So we just fetched our main phase and we're good. All right, no plays from our opponents. So I could bolt myself to play the Death Shadow, but that's just not really what we want to be doing in this matchup. We want to slow the game down. So we've got his first threat covered. Yeah, we're going to let this go. Post got bobbles. They're very low to the ground. They're targeting themselves. So I bet they have another land. Yeah. Okay, so they want to keep the card. So a discard spell or a land would be very good here. Because I'd like to be able to hit nab that card they kept. Great. So let's let's get Snapcaster in play. We're going to target Inquisition of Kozilek. I would assume this catches something like a Stubborn Denial. But we still have a Snapcaster on the board. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of snap coasters. 
So they're going to be able to snap thought seize me next turn. And then they're going to be able to set up there. So I have to take, I have to take, I think I have to take this Death Shadow. Because they're going to take my Terminate, and then I can't answer the, the Angler or the Shadow. Even though this is only going to 1, this would only be going to 12, they would go to 11, but they're going to find a way to get the Shadow online. So I think I have to take the Shadow, I think I have to take the Shadow. Though this game is going to get difficult. I'm going to have to use this K command to smoke a Snapcaster. Oh, that's a good draw. To smoke a Snapcaster, probably. Wow, another one. Glad I took a Death Shadow. They found a land that's going to be tough because that means I can go like Snap, Thought Seize, and uh, get the Angler in play. The nice thing though is that even if they do that line of play and they get the Angler in play, then we're going to be able to go K okay, Command, shoot this, make them discard a card, and we're either going to get a Snapcaster. We're probably going to get a Fatal Push, and it's just less. But this is going to be a tough game to win. They took K Command, okay. Wow, so. They have a stub in their graveyard, so. So I think I'm just going to bolt this. And then I'm just going to get in here with my Snapcaster. I could bolt to myself, but again, I don't think this game's going to become about that. I just want to get on the battlefield, which is what I'm doing now. Opponent's going to play Angler, then have Snap push up, but I guess even if they go snap, we can terminate and then still stub this. Okay, so they're going to do it the other way. So if my opponent does this, I'm actually going to stub this to make it so that they have they can't play the angler this turn and let this resolve unless they have a land. And if they have a land, it likely deals them damage. Like This is just a tempo play. So this resolves. They probably take my terminate. And then a great draw for me would be a street wraith. Yeah. They had the blood crit, but they're playing it tapped. Okay. Fatal push here would be very good. All right, street wraith's also great. So we find a removal spell. My opponent's dead. We're going to go for it one more time here. I think I'm just going to push this, put my opponent to three, and then make a Snapcaster Mage lethal. I don't really want to play my Death Shadow until it's large enough. Whoa. That's not good. Opponent found their own shadow. Okay. So the last card's Fatal Push. And we drew an island. Now we're basically dead if my opponent hits anything. But we're going to play this, and then pass, and then hopefully we hit... It would be our second Snapcaster Mage, probably. And they have a couple draws that just kill me here. They have this fatal push, right? I'm not crazy. Okay, chump this. Now they just drew the second the other push. All right. Oh, that was tough. Let me see what I had in my coming. I had a shadow coming. Yeah, I just just camp a little short. So I want these six cards. I want to cut these, and I want to cut two stubborn denials. Lightning Bolt gets better in the post board games when we've got more Planeswalkers and when the game goes longer. need to get my light going on in here.
Okay. Uh, I'm gonna mulligan. Jeez, it's been a rough, rough start. Okay, it's a pretty good five. Put it on top because it's a spell. Hopefully, we can get something out of it. So I've got this covered. I don't have this thing covered. So yeah, it's actually okay. So I'll take this last hope. They thought see something. I untap and I bolt this. Or alternatively, I could just take their looting, but they're gonna find land. So I'm just gonna take this last hope. This last hope is going to body me. So they're looking at my top. So they're gonna know what I've got here. So they know that I've got an answer to this. Young Pyromancer. They're probably still just going to take the Snapcaster Mage. Okay, so they drew land. Makes sense. All good sequencing from our opponent. Okay, so I think this is the take. Yep. Play this and pass. They don't really know what gets me out of this right now just mulligan a five in an attrition based matchup is just not a way to win to win that's a good one but I need this to check this so hopefully I find more ways to deal myself damage no plays alright terminate's good I mean, we have four spells can't cast two of them, but we're going to be able to eventually. I really don't think I'm going to bolt myself, especially in the face of this Pyromancer. Okay, I mean, we've drew another way to answer Pyromancer, so. So what do they do here? They still have a blood crypt. Take bolts. So if they go land, they play their blood crypt. Alright. So I know they don't have a lot going on. That's insane. And I can cast it. So let's hope that Homeboy. makes it. My opponent can have a pretty good turn of like looting and like young pyromancer into looting into another spell and that kind of that kind of shores up their board presence. So it's gonna be a pretty productive turn for my opponent. I'll have a dismember. God. Okay. Alright, I mean this is where Faithless Looting looks very good. This late game. Alright. So I know they have a Blood Crypt in their hand. Because this came off of Fetch Land. I kind of just want to cycle this now so I don't get cracked by a Delve card. That's pretty good. So now we can get... Death Shadow into play. It probably gets bolted. Yep. This is okay. We get to go like kill this. We take we go to eight here. That might have been an aggressive thing to do. They're just not dealing damage to me. Okay. So my gut tells me that they have an answer to my shadow. But if they had an answer to my shadow, they would just attack. They want to keep this thing a 1-1. One, one. So I'm just going to play this. They probably want to keep it a 1-1 one, one so that it can trade with the elementals. 
Okay, so they, they found a bush. So we take three. That, that, that came off the top, I'm assuming. It's a pretty good draw. Okay. Put on the bottom. Put on top. Liliana is going to be a good follow up to the Death Shadow. We're just going to get rid of one of these. Slow things down a tad. Alright, all oh, that's. Oh, that's so savage because now I have to chump it. Oh, that's well. Actually, I don't because of how the shadow works. My opponent knows how shadow works. Then I have to chump block it. My opponent attacks with like the elementals and the shadow. Then now it doesn't. Now it doesn't. Yeah, that's that's rough. Man, we were in it on a mold of five. We were still in this game. This is just a delve card. Or Liliana. Okay. Alright. Alright. Yeah, that sucked. Very, very close. Very good game one. And then that game, just the mold of five, is what will do you. And that's, that's just going to happen when you're playing a deck that's got attrition. There's all attrition-based matchups. If you mow into five, you're not going to win. I've won a couple sixes, but not a lot of fives. That guy's beat me twice today. What a jerk. Get my computer glasses on. So how's the chat doing tonight? Is everybody having a good rest of their day? I'm excited to have a little week vacation here. Teaching the ways. How are you going? How are you doing today, Cody? Oh, anyway, there we go. It took us a while to pop for a match there. Heater. That was a pretty good hand. It doesn't really have a threat, which is always kind of annoying, but... You're not going to send this back, especially after your opponent missed, like, mulligans. Look at that. No, oh, we're playing against Lantern. Oh, come on, don't do that. What is going on here? Dude, I've only been streaming for, like, five minutes. Moto's already lagging out on me. So we have a nasty Gurmasty on top, but it's not worth not fetching. We're drawing another land, unfortunately. Okay, so I can stub this whir. This bridge comes online next turn. This academy ruins is going to be like a massive problem if I don't find a threat. I think I'm going to take care of this whir because the whir is can be used at awkward times, and the whir just like is annoying. So now I see my top card. Top card is a Snapcaster. I actually don't think I can draw the Snapcaster. 
I need some kind of gas. So let's ship this. Uh, I'll get another water grave. Tasker on top is nice. I think we're going to put both of these on the bottom. Another land kind of sucks. But now i got to hold this stubborn denial to be able to hit this bridge. I'm glad I have 2k commands in my deck. So I've got a lot of outs to a bridge as long as I can find a K command. Like I've got Snapcasters, many ways to rebuy it. So let's get rid of this. At least it's going to take them a while to rebuild this or to re to get this set back up or to get, get this back in their hand, I mean. It'll take a couple turn cycles. Okay, so that's actually a good card to keep. So, I'm just going to keep my graveyard intact. I might want Stub or Serum Visions. And I do want this card here because it plays well with Serum Visions and lets me fight around uh, the mill pieces. Then hopefully we can just get get the whole way with this Tassiger. The Golden Fang. The best way to play against Lantern, I think, when you have a Death Shadow deck is to just hold as many fetch lands in play as you can, which we probably won't crack these because we have the red source, and then hold your Street Wraith for when there's something important to fight over. They're going to probably crack this. Unless they have another word, but there's still a blue source off of having a word. Alright. So they're drawing Opal. Opal into Spire. So now they can activate this. It is kind of cool when Lantern just keeps rebuying Mishra's Bobbles, like when it gets to that section of the game. All right, that's just another solid draw there. I might crack this land in order to get, just because it's worth activating Tasker at the end of the turn. Should be in good shape here. We're going to be getting back relevant cards. So we're not getting back like garbage. Unless we flip garbage, which could happen. All right, you get your bridge back. Unless I'm not activating Tasker. So I'm not going to fetch. I'm just going to continue to draw the Street Wraith. We are putting the soft, putting the squeeze on them for sure. Could our opponent didn't find a mill rock or just anything to control the game with. I do have to find an answer to that. Um, I do have to find an answer to whatever it is. The bridge, which isn't coming next turn, but it is coming in two turns. So whether we got a K command or another discard spell. Okay, so we definitely don't want that. So let's fetch, see if we can cycle into something relevant. Thought Scour is okay. We're going to leave it on top, but Thought Scour is at least decent. Well, hang on. I actually should cycle on my main phase. I'm, I'm going to fetch again to see what card we have on top. Because I do want to find a threat, because they're going to take one turn off. If I can kill them next turn, I only need four more power. So if I can find another creature, then we got him here. Target player shuffles their library. They're targeting themselves. Okay. So let's just get this swamp. So now we don't know where our top card is.
one, two. My phone's at 10. Okay. I already play a land. I'm gonna cycle this one more time. Okay. They're probably gonna give me back the street race with Tasker. Don't you? All right. Sorry, we've got one bolt. So we find a Snapcaster Mage or a K Command or another Lightning Bolt. I'm in good shape. They're just gonna give me back Death Shadow now. So the Snapcaster still gets in there. So we still get like beats by beats by snap on. I've got three snaps left in the deck. And at this point, they're giving me back Street Wraith, probably, or Stubborn Denial, because they just don't have anything left to counter. Mox Opal. All right. You can, you can get rid of your Mox. They're just emptying their hand. OK. So I need to find Snapcaster or K Command. Snapcaster Mage. So they're probably just giving me back Stubborn Denial at this point. Street Wraith. Gives me Street Wraith. Do you draw a Spell Bomb? Alright, this might do it. So we're looking for K Command. Oh my god, the redraw. I can't even handle all these redraws. Alright, I don't want to fetch, so I'm not going to play this land here. Second bridge incoming. Yeah, they're going to get this lantern going. We're so close, but yet so far. Okay, well I've got two. I have. Oh, we'll play this game a little longer. On him after ruins. Yeah, we could do that. Now I don't even know what to do here. Man, our K command, we still have enough like reach in our deck to kill our opponent, which is wild. I actually wouldn't even mind a Delve creature to just get rid of all of the chaff in my graveyard. Witch Bane Orb. Okay. We're, only, we're not going to play this too much longer. Okay. So we're going to cast this Angler in order to get rid of some of the worst. Get rid of like this, 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 stub, and And then get rid of the Death Shadow. Just to make it so my opponent's just giving good me good cards off of this. We still got 2k commands left. Like... It ain't good. Those Snapcaster Mages are good. And all these are just cantrips.
We're clawing. Let's give me thought scour. So I think I'm gonna thought scour. We can't thought scour them. We they have hexproof. All right, we hit a death shadow. I lost land of a Greek death shadow matchups harder. Yeah, it is, it is like this this deck's this deck's tough. Uh, I'll just discard death shadow. So now I need K command into something in order to have a shot here. Okay. So Colgon's command does win us the game, and I've got two left out of my last 16 cards. Right? Yeah, I've got I've got two left. So Colgon's command is just game over. I guess it's not necessarily game over because I can't go like shatter hit them. So I need a snapcaster mage. Get rid of my thought scours. So now I just have Seer Visions and Snapcasters. So I think at the end of their turn, I'm going to activate this again. Because I'll take Seer Visions or Snapcaster Mages off the top here. And we're just playing the Angler to delve out bad cards out of the graveyard. There's not really any other point to that. That's going to make this tough. Yeah, we're just going to let that happen. They probably take a lightning bolt. And now we need K command. Yeah, this is getting more and more difficult. Another bridge, that doesn't matter. Get back in position. We hit our last Snapcaster Mage, unfortunately. But we do only have good cards in there. Oh, come on. Give me something. Okay, Termin so you're going to give me Terminator or something like that again. Let's play my land, pass. Ditch a fatal push. So now we're not activating Tasker anymore. There's nine cards, and I've got one Snapcaster Mage and two Colagons left. Commands left. So like I theoretically think I have an out to this. It's not that. So I'm just gonna ditch my thought sees. Oh no, I could attack my Snapcaster Mage. No. Oh, that could have made everything so much easier. I mean, not like a lot easier, but it's another spell, you know. I'm sorry, we'll get in this this attack. All right, that's going to probably shut the door. Target player shuffles their library. Okay. The academy ruins it back probably. How many of those bridges? They have three bridges. That probably shuts me out. He probably has decay in his hand anyway. Well, that doesn't matter, right? We got that beat, don't we? Okay. So how do I win? I've got one. Two, three, okay, all my snapcasters are gone. All my bolts are gone. So I actually just, I can't win because I can't find an, any way to deal. In, uh, unless I return, start returning my snapcaster mages. So if I go command, shock the witchbane orb, return snapcaster mage. Then I go snapcaster mage. Shock you, 
return Snapcaster Mage. Snapcaster Mage. I need to find my if I can find my last K command, I can I can kill him. But I've got to find my last command. I'm punished by missing that attack with the Snapcaster Mage. But if I find my last command, I actually think I've got him. That's bad. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm going to return my Snapcaster Mage, shatter this, and return my Snap. And then I can Snap. The problem is it just comes back. Like, they just bring it back. So now I could shock him, make him discard. Okay, so he exiles one of my cards. Okay. So one, two, shock. One, two, three, four. Do I have an island still in my deck? My island's there. So all my mana producing lands are gone. So return Snapcaster Mage. One, two, three. One, two, return. I feel like I have I feel like I have a chance to win. And I, I don't know if I can do it anymore, but I feel like I had a shot. I get rid of this, this. And now at this point I can get rid of my cantrips. I can beat this orb. They bring back Lantern of Insight. Okay. We have two fetch lands though. There's my color dance command. So shock. Shock this, where is it? Shock this, return Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, I mean this is we're gonna make our we're gonna make our stand here. So return target creature from your graveyard, destroy target artifact. My opponent makes me shuffle. Okay, Cold Guns, Death Command, Sash, Thoughtseize. Okay. Thoughtseize on top. They get rid of that. Cold Guns Command still in the stack. My top card is Cold Guns Command. But they're going to be able to mill that. Okay, so now I untap. Snapcaster, Colagon's command. Now I think I'm dead. Because I just can't get through these bridges. One, two, three, snap command. Hit this. Return Snapcaster Mage. Because they're just going to bring it back, play it again. So Snapcaster, bolt them to three, bolt them to five, or hit them to six, return. Yeah, we're dead. I think there was a way that I could have won that game. I think there was a way that I could have won that game if I'd have been into it as much from like the first couple turns as I was the end of it. Okay, so I want these rejections. I want Liliana the Veils. 
I want Lava Man. Lava Man's kind of medium. Uh, Stubbs good. The Strokes and the Lava Man are kind of medium, and so is the Spell Bomb. So cards I don't want terminate. Fatal Push. And Lightning Bolt's not bad. Like, Lightning Bolt gives me a chance in that, those games. So, Disdainful Stroke. Disdainful Stroke hits Whirr, and it hits Witchbane Orb. So, that's probably worth going in. Probably can cut an Angler, because that's not really what the game's about. The game's about, like, I'm not going to need many threats, I think, to win this game. Maybe these lightning bolts are worse than counter spells. And then maybe I can bring in one lava mancer because that out is interesting. I'm not sure. I could be fishing with the lava mancer, but it's just a way to do repetitive damage under a bridge. So I think I'm going to try it. We're gonna give this a try. The the lava man might be kind of harebrained, but we're gonna give it a whirl. Now I'm gonna be sad if I lose this because I, I put so much mental energy into that game. Because like I was just kind of like in the stream mode, and then all of a sudden I was in it. I was into it, and I still lost. How you doing, Archmage? Do you play at SCG Con, Archmage, or do you just watch? I was watching. Yeah, it seems like nothing special, but I don't think you can mulligan this. They have a ley line that I'm in a lot of trouble. That Academy Ruins was brutal also. I'm going to hold my Street Wraith in case I draw a uh, whatever it is in the next game. In case I draw a Serum Visions, excuse me. Okay, so neither of us are going to have hands. So I kind of just want to take either the Lantern of Insight or the Ancient Stirrings. I think I'm going to take this Ancient Stirrings. Though I could protect my Snapcaster Mages, but I don't even have a third land. Lantern of Insight is pretty important for what they're doing, but Ancient Stirring is just like the most powerful card in their hand. So we're going to take that. Yep, I'm assuming they take a Snapcaster. It's so far away. Wasn't it? I want to qualify for the next one. Like, that would be nice. My opponent likely goes Lantern into Pixis next turn. Okay. Command's good. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we don't, don't have Angler. I think I'm going to flash this Snapcaster Mage in at the end of my opponent's turn, or when they go to Inquisition me here. What do they take? They take my K command, and then I'm just going to delve it away. Yeah, I'm just going to get the snap customization to play. Oh, gosh, I did. I just miscounted. I didn't even think about my fetch lands. You're right. You're right. You're right there, catch of the spawn of Satan. I just miscounted. 
Which that happens. Yeah, no, you're right. I just didn't register the uh, fetch land. So this is gone. Yeah, it just didn't just didn't count, right? But how sick would that be if they just ran out like a lantern here? Welding jar. Pixis. Okay. Alright, so let's get in here with this guy. And now that land's actually not terrible to draw because it does cut off some of my opponents out. Though they would need blue source plus artifact. Yeah, so I'm actually just going to leave. So I think I'm actually just going to tap out. And we're going to leave the cards that can help us later in the game in the graveyard. Because... We can only stop whir, and they're not whirring for a bridge. Okay, so there's the whir, and we have shadow. They're going to leave us with the shadow. Okay, so let's just get in here. We get in for seven. So my opponent would be at 15. I'm assuming I would have flashed in this snapcaster. So they'll be at 15 going to going to 8 right now. Each player, okay. So I'm drawing a rejection, they're drawing a thought seize. Okay, so I'm drawing a thought scour, they're drawing a land. So they're actually dead to a source of damage. Unless they have a bridge, which they do. So sad. So we have a command. We've got one snapcaster. We have one command left in the deck. And they have the welding jar. So I need to find a Liliana. And this Tasker is not going to help me find Liliana, I don't think. So let's just get this into play. Pass the turn. I have three, I basically have three, I just have two outs probably, just the Lilianas. Well, we got to counter that because of Liliana. Pixis, my thoughts scour, sure. All right, it's a better hit for him. All right, Lava Man's an out, but they're gonna just Pixis over it, so Lava Man is not an out. Oh, we're going to start a League 02 today, man. That sucks. And the Lava Man's under Pixis. Snapcaster Mage. We are, yeah, this is... This is tough. Well, I don't think I'm going to play this very much longer, to tell you the truth. It just sucks because I would like to, you know, like this isn't very good stream equity here. All right, so we're going to shuffle away the Snapcaster Mage. So I got a Kologon's command, Liliana. You can have my stub. Another stub is not good. Yeah, we're just we're gonna we're gonna scoop this up. It's not worth the life to play this out here. Oh, that's unfortunate. God, we've been wrecked in our first two games. Our first two matches. Hopefully we can win three in a row here, kind of pull it out. Jeez. 
right? I'll probably end up thought seizing on one and serum visioning on two. Because I would like to have the serum visions plus street rates should be able to find me what I need. Oh, I think it's burn. This hand is so bad against burn. Alright, I'm just going to try to trade with them on the mulligan. Thoughtsies. I need to kill, find something that has repeated damage. Rip bolt, what they do this? They put bottom, bottom. So I might as well just take Rift Bolt. So if I can actually find a. Um, a Death Shadow, this hand's actually got a chance. Because my opponent doesn't have a lot of ways to do a lot of damage. Okay. No lands. They drew a spell, which isn't good. Alright, so there's Tassiger. Tassiger might have to do it for us. So one, two, three, four... I, just, I don't think I can fetch. So there's no really that big of a difference between 6 and 4 besides Boros Charm. So I think, though, if I fetch the Swamp, then I can Thought Seize and still be above 3. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to give up on this here Lightning Bolt. And then hopefully we can go to the Promised Land. Uh, I think it's because um, people like playing with their Snapcaster Mages more, therefore it sees more play. Oh my god, when we didn't get an answer to this. Uh, people just like playing with Snapcaster Mage more, and I think that it's it has just a better humans matchup. Put... On the bottom, put on top. Thought sees. Thought sees if they draw, if we attack and we thought sees they draw a land, they kill us. If I cycle, shock, bolt this, I go to two. We die to a land. I think I've just got to attack and stay put. My opponent draws a land and has a one piece of one mana interaction that we're in trouble. The Grixis deck has also just has a better, like the humans matchup I think is pretty much the biggest thing. So now I'm going to have to bolt this thing because it can block and then shave a, a turn off the clock, which we can't afford. Two damage to me. Still be a goblin guide. Should definitely upkeep it. It doesn't have enough removal. You can't play enough removal in the deck. The deck relies on Liliana the Veil a lot, I think. And um, the deck relies on Liliana the Veil, and Liliana the Veil is just not super great at this moment. It's good against control decks. All right, dude, you should have fired that off. I mean, I'm assuming they've got it. Like, unless their hand's just mono two drops. You are a better Battle Rage deck, which is, you know, not nothing. 
what is going on here? My opponent just like not. All right, that should be able to force some action. Probably the odd, one of the more odd games of Magic I've played. So we have to take something like an idol on, I think. I have two idol ons. I have two idol ons. I guess like none of this matters. I don't even know what my opponent could draw that kills me. A land idol unlocks me, which is gonna put me in a tough spot. But I can beat an idol unlock, I think. Because I have a street wraith, and worse comes worse, I can just cast a street wraith. Uh the multiple searing blazes don't matter. The shard volley. Is a way to kill me, but they stone rain themselves. They can't do anything to hit. I'm just gonna take an Eidolon. It's a blocker. Chump blocks for two turns effectively. None of this really matters. Yeah. Because they couldn't have drawn a land and a one mana removal spell. Holy shnikes. That was weird. That was a weird turn of events. So against Burn, I want Stub and my two Veils. And I will bring in a Lava Mancer and I can cut my Street Wraiths. And that's how we're going to do it. I'm going to go grab some, something to drink. All right, we got a Death Shadow, two removal, two discard spells. I'm going to keep this one. My opponent's on the mulligan as well. Games also slow down if you're sideboard. Is this the Krusty Krab now? Do you think playing Stub is a must for this archetype? I do think you need to play between two and three of them in your main deck. When this deck was really good, they played four. And that's why the deck was good, because Negate was pretty insane versus the format. All right, we're going to take one bridge. Yes. Oh. All right, we're going to take another bridge. This Firecraft is damage to any target. Okay. So I'm actually going to offer my Death Shadow up, I think. For Traverse, um, I don't necessarily think the Traverse decks need to play it. They have a path too, so they actually have answers to both of my creatures, unfortunately. I still think I'm just going to offer my Death Shadow up here. If my opponent wants to, hopefully they path it. Sacrificial lamb here. I think Traverse Urgens are just super mad. Yeah, you just don't have. To, if you had. If humans wasn't in the format, I'd play Traverse. But, like, you just can't. You can't reliably beat. All right. We're going to get into this song and dance. You just can't reliably beat the uh, humans' decks. Yeah, like, you're going to go, like, Traverse, and they're just going to flash it in and then get rid of it. I 
This is a punt. I'm going to fetch anyways, more than likely. Yeah, this is a super. I should have fetched to at least force the issue. I'm going to play this out to hope my opponent starts to. Because I think this angler is the is the real prize. We're going to hope this eats a path that eats an firecraft. Helix. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to force, I think I'm going to force this issue. Because they're going to path it, I think. Uh, I'm just going to get another watery grave. And basic island, okay. Oh, maybe we draw. Yeah, you don't. Well, I shouldn't vision first because I want them to path me, right? Because now I'm not going to search if they path me, which is fine. I could go snap thoughtsies also. So we're going to put this on top, and then we're going to put this on top. So now I'm going to attack. I didn't think about that long enough, I don't think. I actually might just go snap. Serum visions now to look to bottom anything that's not a a uh, snapcaster mage that's not a stubborn denial. Yeah, that was stupid. I want the death shadow. I think I don't think I want the Liliana. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I don't. I didn't just didn't think about that long enough. There's an argument that I also don't. No, I definitely want the death shadow. Yeah. I could put this on top and then put this on top. Because the Liliana is also going to be good if this game slows down. And then I'm not going to fetch they path me. You got Snap Thoughtseize? I feel like the hardest thing to do about this deck is to know when to like Snap Thoughtseize and Snap... Uh, we're not going to path. And to Snap um, whatever it is. To snap Thoughtseize and to or to snap uh I can't even speak. Or to snap Inquisition or snap uh serum visions. Like when to further your own game plan versus disrupt your opponents. I think we're gonna win this game because my opponent's draw has been pretty bad. Yeah. And it's like, you can't burn me or you die. This is where, this is where it's like, it's very fun playing against burn, but it's also sometimes pretty easy because like if they stumble, all of a sudden you're like, I just checkmate everything you do. Because now my opponent, my opponent can't, can't enact their game plan. And if they want to exquisite firecraft my death shadow, then like, all right. Spell mastery. If there are two or more, which there's two, there's just barely two. And like, if they firecraft my death shadow, then all of a sudden I've got Liliana plus stubborn denial, just eating away at their resources. They just don't have anything going on. Which is tough for, for my opponent. I'm frustrated I lost that Shadow Mirror. I, th I thought there was a way... I thought I was frustrated I lost Game 1. My opponent's trying to figure out if there's any way... So they must have like Boros Charm Bolt in their hand. At least that's what I think they have. I think they have enough damage to, to put me to four on my turn. Because they only need one more burn spell. 
but they're not going to have enough resources to put me to if they're after I counter one of these like counter this Boros charm oh they're gonna main phase it okay I was trying to figure it out so let's figure out what they have they probably got they probably have another form of damage I bet they have a lightning bolt I bet they have a one mana piece of interaction and then their one their last card's probably something like an Eidolon, or something like that. So now they're trying to figure out, or an Eidolon or a land. I don't think they've drawn, so they could have four spells. They missed their land drop for a while. So they could easily have, like, their hand's probably clogged up with, like, a bunch of reactive stuff. I think we start off with this. Because worse comes to worse, this is going to give me more information. Because we could die to perfect. Like, if they play something like a deflecting palm that I have to counter, then they ditch a card. Their last card, they could have Boros Charm. And then next turn, they could draw a land and then have a one mana piece to kill me. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting here. The opponent's definitely thinking about it. So I definitely, I think I'm going to, I might stream the PTQ on Sunday. I definitely it's going to ditch this Fatal Push. This game will be won and lost in the stack. So I put them a 9. I put them to 11. Any two creatures are lethal. Or any any combination of these two creatures are lethal next turn. If I attack with everything, this is lethal and this is lethal, excuse me. If I hold back, then they both are lethal. I think I'm gonna hold my Snapcaster back to block a haste creature, because they could go something like ditch a card, Boros Charm me, bolt me. No, they can't do that. Bor they ditch the Boros Charm. I think I'm just gonna hold back this Snapcaster Mage. Because if they exquisite firecraft my death shadow, these two are lethal. The Snapcaster Mage just like is a hedge in case everything goes to shit. Okay, what do we got? Helix me. Okay. These are still lethal. This we counter, and then my opponent has no outs. Unless they draw a Deflecting Palm. If they draw a Deflecting Palm, we're going to tick our Liliana up before combat, and if they ditch the Firecraft, they probably have Palm. So we'll figure that out next time. Okay. All right, we finally won a match. Holy shnikes. See if we can rattle off two in a row. Might do another league tonight. I don't have to be up early for work tomorrow. Speaking of work tomorrow, let's see if my boss emailed me. Oh, we're already paired. Holy shnikes. No. Okay. All right. This hand's very good. Lead off on a discard spell. Then we got Street Wraith to use with our Serum Visions. Oh, look at this. We're going to play a lot of Bloodstained Mire decks. Playing against Jund. If we're playing against Jund, this will be fun. I'm going to assume this is Jund. 
Yeah, I think we're playing against a gen deck. This should be fun. I think I should take my Thoughtseize or my Serum Visions. I would assume they have an answer to my Tasker in the form of Liliana or... Oh, they took Tasker. Okay. That feels odd. That's nasty. So let's get a Blood Crypt. Playing it's Mardu. Okay. All right. So I could get greedy and take Thoughtseize, and then hope they take the Pyromancer. The problem is the Pyromancer is just going to be an army. So I think it's like the adult decision to take this young Pyromancer. We're going to lose our. We're going to use lose Nasty or Masty because they're probably going to go Thoughtseize into looting. This matchup should be fun. There's the thought sees. Uh, do I want to cycle? I don't think I want to cycle. My opponent wants to take my Street Wraith instead of my Gurmag Angler, then that's fine. Wow. So they found an answer to Street Wraith. Oh, they found an answer to Angler. Best draw would be another discard spell. They ditch Lightning Bolt, Fatal Push. So they get Faithless Looting and one other card. So we're going to nine if we cycle this Tree Wraith. Two, three, four, five. So we can delve our whole graveyard and play Angler right now. I'm definitely not in love with just going willy-nilly with this Street Wraith. I'm going to put my opponent on Terminate. I think they have a Terminate. They either have Terminate or Lingering Souls. And their last card, they have a Looting. A Stubborn Denial would be sick off of this Street Wraith. Thoughtseize is also very good. So we're going to use this. Oh, that was a bolt. I did not even read the thing right. Let's get nasty. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. This matchup is hard, but right here is how you win it. That's a sick, that's a good one. All right, let's go here. So what I have to think here, is it worth cycling? If they chump block, whoa. That's aggressive. I think I'm gonna cycle this. Yeah, because we can get our homeboy. Dude, attack it. That's aggressive. Well, now my opponent's not dead, but they are nearly dead. Blackly Cliffs into Lingering Souls. Okay, so I attack. So if I attack with both, let's see how they what they do here first. Because if there's no sense in me putting in the one if I can't kill them. When I can attack, they probably double chump, and then I can kill an attacker. I don't think I want to put them to one because then I lose the lightning bolt off the top, and they get looks with faithless looting, right? Well, so, like, I don't want to, because if I go to five here, we're at five. I assume my opponent double blocks. Or I think my opponent's going to go block, block. I'm 
Because if, if this is their block, we can't be okay. So now we can beat Lightning Bolt. So I actually think we just sit tight. Because now we beat Lightning Bolt. We don't beat... Whoa. So he drew another Lingering Souls. So if they drew... We're going to assume our opponent drew another Lingering... No, they could have drawn Bolt. So we got to respect this. This means they either drew Bolt or they drew Lingering Souls. Or Ben the Riddler. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So they definitely have bowl. Yeah. This play definitely, they definitely drew lightning bowl. Yeah. All right, begin sideboarding. Okay, so against this deck, I like this. I like the Lava Man, and I like the Last Hopes. We're going long, so these Street Wraiths are getting out of here. I don't really like Fatal Push in this matchup either. Well, my sideboard is... Oh, the Radiant Flames are good. Excuse me. So I don't like Fatal Push, I don't like Street Wraith. I actually don't like Stubborn Denial very much against the Flashback deck. Sometimes it's like having one or two Stubborn Denials is okay to like push through something with your creature, but I really don't like um I really don't like having a lot of stubborn denials against a deck that's just there to grind you out. Thank you there, Mr. Cat, the Catman. Okay. I think this is what we're gonna do here. I don't like having a lot of spot removal. I like relying on my discard spells while still having, you know, this much stuff to deal with the young pyromancer. I think that's what we're going to like. I think I'm going to keep this hand. I have an answer, Young Pyromancer. This is one of my best cards in the matchup, and you just can't mulligan in this matchup as long as your hand, as long as your hand is just somewhat functional. Spell bomb. The bomb diggity. All right, let's get. I'm not going to play around Blood Moon. I think it's wrong for my opponent to have Blood Moon in against this deck, and if I play around Blood Moon, it makes this like a mulligan. Okay, so I'm actually going to keep this Last Hope, and I'm going to keep this Dot Scour. So what am I doing next turn? I really want to keep this Thought Scour. I could Thought Scour my opponent, but that's pretty loose. Maybe I don't want this Thought Scour. We're just going to play this game slow. No, I think I want each one of these, but I'm just going to, we're just going to play, we're going to play slow here. But I want the Liliana on top in case my opponent plays whatever that dumb card is. Young Pyromancer here, and I have to fetch and kill it. It's a pretty conservative top top for me, but I think it's I think in this matchup I gotta you know I gotta just watch out and play play conservatively. I would have definitely bottomed that Thought Scour if my opponent didn't have this spell bomb. Okay. So now, just play this past the turn. Again, we're just not playing around Blood Moon. And my opponent just goes like fetch, swamp, blood moon, like whatever. You got it, dude. You can moon me. Okay, so we're not getting mooned, we're getting lingering souls. 
Yeah, we're good here. So I'm going to keep that card I kept on top. And now we're in a decent spot. I don't want to take too much more damage. We might as well be conservative with the life total. Like, we got we got Death Shadow online. My opponent's going to be able to nug me. I'm going to go up on this. I'm just going to start chewing on these Lingering Souls. And that's why this Lingering Souls is going to be an absolute... This one's going to be a hammer. Because I'd be willing to bet my opponent's going to have the resources to deal with this one. This is the one that's going to break the game open. I'll be right back. Hey, Okay, so tick up. And then if my opponent gets cute with this Lingering Souls, then we're going to be able to play Nasty next turn with them. And they're going to have to play this Spell Bomb and crack it for no value or just get Gurmat Anglered. Which isn't, is, isn't you know, that's not how you win these games. One just doesn't get Gurmat Anglered. Oh my god, this is the funniest. If you guys have Twitter, you should check this out. It's called Thoughts of Dogs. This is just easily the greatest account on Twitter. Right here. Sometimes the human presses their knocking against mine to figure out what I'm thinking. So I just think real hard about how much I love them and hope they figure it out. That's so funny. I love the punctuation. The punctuation just makes it. Also, if you are all watching the stream today and have Twitter, you should check this out. Because if you want to see amazing Twitter posts of that are just centered around when I stream and my dog Philly, You should check this out right here. This is the funniest tweet of all time. Look at that face. And then I've been saving this one for a while. And I busted this one out last week. Where is it? I'm just hijacking the stream here, but it was it was hilarious. It was really cute. All right, might not be able to find it. Oh, here we go. This is like when we first got in. One of my friends put their Liliana in my dog's mouth. It's absolutely the cutest thing of all time. Your doggos are great as well. I saw your doggo pictures there. We should check out his dog pictures because he had some great replies there. Right there. You have what's better than one black dog? Two black dogs. Are yours English or American? They look they look American. Their legs look a little longer. There. Dude, I like that one, right? I'm not I'm not some savage. Yes, I did. Alright. My opponent's just like salting off or not doing anything here. All bits, subscriptions, and donations go towards making sure my dog stays fat. They speak Bork. 
Dude, you should look up the thoughts of dogs, Dean. It's hilarious. It's just the best. It's the best. All right, I might as well bring it back over here to the deck list while my opponent's tweaking out. Stream, Twitch stream, I'm tweaking out a little bit for feeding the doggo. Oh no. Stream tweaked out. Is my opponent back yet? No, they just conceded. Nope, that's not. That's a different one. Nope, they're just still not doing anything over here. My computer's lagging a little bit. I actually cannot see my Twitch chat here. Oh, my phone's back. Yeah, I can't exactly see what's going on here as my Twitch, my dashboard's just tweaking out. <clears throat> this is where they have to take my last token. And then we're just going to add a bunch to the board here. And then also they can't. Now they can't. Exit this page. What is going on? Again, I'm working to get back to my dashboard. My dashboard's tweaking out here. So I might have to. I, I probably will miss what goes on from chat from Dean's bit donation on. So I appreciate the bits. That is very awesome of you. Like make sure Philly stays fat. I'll put Philly on stream here in a second. All right, we're back. So let me try to figure out what I missed here. They're English or whatever. They're from the Humane Society. I always wanted a Husky as a kid, but Black Lab, I don't think I could ever get a different kind of dog. They're great. Philly, Philly's really made my life a lot better. My life was very hard before, honey. Okay, so this is great because now they have to, now they just mulliganed. So they're basically making it so that they can't play. And we might, I think we still can angler this turn depending on what our draw step is. So, so I'm going to start off by thought scouring because that's definitely going to happen. Radiant Flames is good. It's a very good follow up to whatever my opponent does here. So four. And now I'm just going to run out a shadow. Well, actually, I don't really want to run a Shadow out into a Lightning Bolt, which is what my opponents... That means they're not bolting my Liliana. They're bolting this. And if they bolt me, then I can just redirect it here. Okay, another Spell Bomb. We're just up so many cards that we're in a very good spot here. I mean, we're low, like, we don't have a lot of pressure, but my opponent deals with this Liliana and then goes, like, running Lingering Souls, it could get hard. This is what's going to happen. We're going to Radiant Flames, my opponent. Crackling Doom.
Okay. So because of the rule, that still doesn't get my lily. It can't redirect. So they come at me here, I might pull one. If they go at Liliana, then I'm not going to. That's one of the disadvantages of the new rule. I think the new rule is good. Like, it makes sense, but it definitely takes away from some stuff. So I could just snap this Radiant Flames off, but I don't see why to do that. Put on the bottom. This can just stock my graveyard back up. So I might as well put this on top. Billy boy, come here, buddy. They had a donation for you. They had a donation for you. The chat wants to see you. Oh. Okay, let's join the stream, buddy. Okay, so we're on my opponent's upkeep. Okay, oh, yes, you want me to lick my opponent? I can't lick my opponent. I can't lick him. They're going to Faithless Looting. Card's pretty good, bud. Do you see? Do you see the chat? Here's the chat. Ready, Phil? You want to see your emote? Hang, hang on, buddy. Hang on, buddy. Let me show you the emote. This is the Philly emote. That's your emote. That's the greatest emote of all time. Oh, you want a hug? Yeah, you do. He is. He's over 50 pounds now. We got him, he was 19. And now he's just mega massive. They ditched two bedroom elders. Okay, buddy, you want to go see mom? Okay, everybody, chat. Say bye to Phil. Say goodbye to little Phil. Like, Phil, wait, say bye to chat. Can you wave to chat? Can you wave to chat? Okay, I'm going to go bring you in. Oh, yours are female? Yeah, they're going to be a little smaller. He's a male. Um, should I bolt this to just not get K-commanded? They're 42 cards in. They haven't seen a K-command. I think I'm going to do it. We're just going to play around like... We're slowly starting to get into the how do we lose territory. And if I keep this Liliana around, I don't think I can lose. So that's how we're going to handle this. Because it would make a lot of sense for my opponent to looting away two Bedlam Revelers and then K-Command one back, which is exactly what's not going to happen right now. My opponent's had a very awkward draw. So this card, a third Bedlam Reveler and a Terminate. So we're going to keep that card on top. We are going to looting. We have stubborn denial. So that probably ends the game on the spot. So again, let's get into how do we lose territory. Oh, we don't have another basic. Okay. So this comes into play tapped. Or if I do it, if I take a steam vents into play untapped, I can hold up terminate as well. No, I think we're just going to get Steam vents tapped. Go up. Let's get let's get nasty. One, two, three, four, five. And then I can keep a death shadow. Or I can serum visions. And I think I'm just gonna keep serum visions. I think we've got enough tools to win right now. We might as well just keep the cards flowing, keep up on advantage, protect the board with our Snapcaster. Okay. We got that rolled up, and now we can Radiant Flames away this, or we can just chew through it, which I like better. Now we just hold up. Now we're just like a Delver. We're on full on Delver deck here. Yep. 
And there's not a lot my opponent can do. This last hope's just so backbreaking against this deck. It just completely bodies them. All right, so there's the Bedlam Reveler. They hit all four of their Bedlam Revelers in the top, whatever, 25 cards of their deck. That's rough. So I think I just go snap, uh, snap stub this in order to keep a little bit more of a battle presence and protect my terminate. Because so I don't really want to just terminate and have them take my Snapcaster Mage. So I'll just keep this fetch land around. Unless I draw a super resistance. Okay, Second Condition is nice. Probably hit Colgon's Command. Um, at this point I'm just going to hit Looting. Just make it so that this tax his mana a little more to cast. Don't let them filter that much. Instead of a one mana filter, they get a three mana filter, and they can only go once. So it's pretty marginal. Test my Whoa. Well, that's just mean. Well, that guy's just mean. Opponent is not happy. Should report him. I can block him, but like. He doesn't seem that good, and I think I'd rather just take his money. That's a man for sure. Rick Shadow, there, Ransom. Were they in the? Were they O three? I'm only O two. One two now. One two or two two? I don't remember. Um, I would like to play first, yes. What are we in this league? Room match? Yeah, I don't know who we are. Oh, I'm going to keep this hand. I'm going to keep this hand and probably miss my second land drop and just not want to play Magic anymore. This is what's going to happen. Ransom, thank you very much. Appreciate the follow. I hope you're having a good night. I appreciate when you guys follow. It makes it just so more people see what's going on. I'm getting close to a thousand. When I hit a thousand, I can apply to a couple of other bots for goat chains or for bot chains to stream more stuff. I need to figure out my paper game. I've been struggling with my paper game lately. Like, okay, so we want one of these. I don't think we want the second one. Put on the bottom, put on top. Like, I haven't done anything in my paper game in a long time. Which has been frustrating. I'm gonna figure out what's going on. Cause like I do well enough here online. Affinity, okay. So my hand's decent against Affinity. The dream. What kind of disrespect is you? For what's going on with you, Arc Mage? Saying I'm in the O3. I wouldn't be in the O3. I'd have been dropped from the league and in a new one. Nice, dude. There's that cranial plating. That's awesome. So I am going to Thought Scour on my main face because if I hit a discard spell, I'm going to want to cast it. Because, like, this is any. We can handle a lot of creatures. Alright, that's not a cranial plating. And it just loads up my Snapcaster mages. So I could see like going Fatal Push, Snap, Inquisition. Because the biggest way I lose this match is to a Cranial Plating. 
It's not a cranial thing, and that's champion. That's champion is as bad as it gets. Remember, guys, if you all want to support my content further, you should go to my YouTube video, YouTube channel, which is linked below. All my streams get archived on there. Get some standard ones on there. Play a little black white banalia. Uh, I think I kind of like what's my plan? Am I gonna play a Death Shadow next turn? I don't think so. I think we're just gonna get this. We're gonna get a little watery grave on the Taparuski plan here. And I think then I'm just gonna go snap Inquisition. If my opponent wants to spend their whole turn suiting up this Blink Moth Nexus, then that's <coughs> that's fine with the home team. And that just turns on my shadow. And then I can have Fatal Push Up to deal with it. I don't want to like I really just don't want to get Edge Championed. Though if I they would have cashed Edge Champion if they had it. So I'm gonna assume their hands like a bunch of Galvanic Blasts, actually, which I should have thought about beforehand. I could easily get double gal blast here. It's just nothing. Nice. My opponent is running on empty. They're gonna top deck edge champion like an absolute animal here. So what do they do? They attack me for one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Attack me for eight here. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Crack me for seven. Kind of a man of an inefficient way to do it. But you know, to each their own. It was stupid of me to thought these left. It was, I guess it wasn't that stupid. Because the way that I lose is if my opponent's hand is like. But then they could go double gal blast and then just like kill me. So that was just all stupid. I muffed up. It's important next turn for me to kill this. Okay, so we get snap. Snaps for days. So I gotta think about should I shock myself? If I shock myself, right now as it stands, this is six. So it's a three turn clock. If it's eight. If I shock myself to 8 here, go to 5, attack them for 10. I think I am going to shock myself because then I can leave up Snapcaster. Though I'm going to push this no matter what. So there's no need for me to leave up Snapcaster Thought Scour. So let's just, let's just take it easy. I want to play around Spell Pierce, I guess. Okay, another Blink Moth is interesting. And then we're just going to hit this right now. I don't think that they have Stubborn Denial in their main deck, but they could. We don't want to get stubbed. I'd like a little bit of action here. That's kind of like kind of action. Dreams. All right. Well, we hit another fatal push. So now we have Snapcaster Mage plus Fatal Push for the next two turns. So it's going to be tough to get for the opponent to uh, pull it out here. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to snap. We're going to snap push them as soon as they go to equip. So we knew about that one. My opponent follows up like an edge champion. Life could get difficult. I guess we're not even playing around Stubborn Denial because I didn't shock myself. Which is stupid. 
Take a little push. Because I'm a big dum dum. All right. Okay. So we have something here to play after combat. This is an edge champion. My life's going to get difficult. Vault Scourge is... All right, we are good here. We have Fatal Push again to hit that with. So we're good. We don't even have to push it, technically. We just can. Because, like, we, we could just attack into it. So, you know, we still had all these. Man, dude, I love me a Snapcaster Mage. My mom got me my Snapcaster Mages for getting married, which was pretty sweet. It's an odd gift. You get married. Here's a bunch of magic cards. My wife's like, I tried to marry him to get him out of that. All right, let's scoop it up. All right, so these are great. This is great. This is not great. And then this is great. I don't like my street wraiths, <coughs> the Tassiger, the Gurmag Angler. Or two stubborn denials. It's okay to keep one stubborn denial in after sideboard, I think, because I want my other cards and they don't play something like um they get at things like Thought Seize or Dispatch or Rest in Peace after sideboard. So it's nice to have a little bit of a hedge there. So let's jump back into it. Yeah, I think this hand's like too good to mulligan. The real question is what land do we fetch on turn one? I really just want a land to come off the top here. If a land comes off the top, I'm going to be so happy. Come on. All right, gas. So now we just go get black, red. Because I hate steam vents. I hate every land in this deck that isn't watery grave that's why i think it's i think you can make a case to have it be correct to play three watery graves in this deck the guy i am and then only two other red sources we can use f8 there's a decent chance that this vault scourge just dies okay so i'm going to start off by hitting this with the Lava Man. It's been all right. I struggled a little bit in one match. I didn't really think about what I'm doing in my life right now, though, so that was a mistake. So what am I doing? I think I'm just starting off by shooting this. Before I do anything. And then in my opponent's upkeep, I'll try to push this. Okay, so then we'll just get rid of this thing. Yeah, I want to get rid of this before my opponent can put it on the Nexus. Then they just move it over to the Vault Scourge. And then next turn, I cast a bunch of spells and I murder this Vault Scourge. And now we're effectively trading Fatal Push for Ravager plus Welding Jar, which is Dece. And it also shuts off my opponent's mocks. 
they're down to three cards. We have five cards in our hand, a better battlefield. My opponent, like, Gal Blast, my Lava Man, things could get difficult, but... So they can't produce color mana, so... Actually, they can. So let's go... I'm going to shock myself. We're not going to take too much more damage, but... I don't want them to go, like, animate, blast this. All right, so we're going to take this Edge Champion because they're not going to have enough threat. They're not going to be able to keep this, um, these cranial platings on the battlefield here. Serum Visions. Yeah, all these are good. So let's start by put this on top. No, actually, that was a mistake. I'm going to shuffle this Thoughtseize away. And then put this rejection on top. Because I just want to find a threat now. They just scoop it up. Okay. Yeah, it is over. I'll be right back here in one second for another league. Just 